Well, welcome everyone. Happy Monday. Thank you all so much for joining us for our special NCHL Get to Know Us session. I am Leanne Swanson. I'm the CEO of the National Center for Healthcare Leadership, and I'm joined by an amazing group of colleagues uh, who will introduce themselves shortly. But I wanted to explain a little bit about today's session. So we have created a fun, interactive Jeopardy type game as our way of having you all get to know a little bit more about NCHL. So we're gonna share a little bit about our history, about our programs and offerings, a little bit about our future of NCHL. And my hope is that you all leave the session learning something that you didn't really already know about us. Uh, but first, I, as you all know, Alex Trebek actually passed away recently. And I was reading, uh, we were, as we were rehearsing the game last week, I told the group that I actually was reading about his legacy and he was viewed by many as an amazing leader. He studied the content to prepare for each show. He always arrived early and he worked up till 10 days, I believe, before his passing. Uh, and seeing that we are a leadership organization, I wanted to just take a moment to acknowledge his passing and his example of leadership. Um, and while our questions may not be as difficult as the ones on the real show, I hope he would have appreciated our version of the game that he made so famous. Uh, before we begin with introductions, I wanna let everyone know that by participating in today's Get to Know Us session, you will automatically be entered into a raffle to win one of our books in our online bookstore. And then we also have a raffle for anyone who attends our networking reception and cocktail class later today. So I certainly encourage you all to join us for that. So I will now turn it over to each team member, NCHL team member to introduce themselves. And then I will introduce our fabulous contestants for the day. So I'm gonna start with our LENS team. Hello everyone, my name is Andy Garman and I work with the LENS team. I uh, uh, spend part of my time with uh, Rush University Medical Center as a professor of health systems management, but then also serve as a program advisor uh, with LENS and uh, with some of the graduate education. Hi everyone, I'm Melanie Sandish. I'm a program coordinator and researcher for our Leadership Excellence Networks. Um, I currently work with our Talent Metrics Analytics and Planning Council and our Physician Leadership Development Council. I'm also um, the lead for our Best Organizations for Leadership Development Program. So to any bold winners that joined the call, congratulations. I'll turn it over to Chelsea. Hi, everyone. My name is Chelsea Johnson, and I'm the LENS Program Coordinator, or one of them, um, alongside Melanie. And I primarily focus my time with our Steering Committee, our Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Council, and our Coaching Council. Hi, everyone. I'm Natasha Kassam. I am the Program Manager here for the National Council on Administrative Fellowships, and I also manage one of our smaller programs, um, the Graduate Education Health Management Leadership Council. Um, so in my role, I'm primarily working with all of our hospitals and health systems, as well as our graduate programs to ensure there's a leadership development and um, routes for early careerists as they progress through healthcare. Um, and this year, I've had the honor of planning this conference, which um, I hope you guys all get to enjoy throughout the week, along with Melanie. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Jarrett Fowler. I'm the director of the U.S. Cooperative for International Patient Programs, um, which is uh, one of the premier programs of NCHL. Um, focus is primarily on U.S. hospitals and health systems that all have a focus on international business. Um, I'm also joined by two of my um, USKIP colleagues here. Um, Alia and Kelly, and I'll let them introduce themselves as well. Uh, hi, everyone. Um, my name is Alia, and I am the Skips Project Manager and Global Relationships Lead for the Middle East. Um, and I work with Jarrett on a number of initiatives, uh, as you mentioned. Um, so I will let Kelly introduce herself next. Hi everyone, my name is Callie Lambert. I am the research manager for USKIP, but I actually work with several of the member programs and re research initiatives across NCHL. Um, so I work closely with our member hospitals for data collection analysis. That's conference, and five days. Okay. All right, thank you. And it is now my pleasure to introduce our players for today. 
who have graciously agreed to play our game. They are some of our valued program members and supporters and three very, very smart individuals. <laughs> First, Conan <laughs> Dixon is an associate scientist at the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health in the Department of Health Policy and Management. He serves at the, as the associate director of the Master in Health Administration Program and also sits on our NCAF steering committee. And Barbara Ralston is a senior consultant for strategic development at Dignity Health International, a member of our NCHL board of directors, and also a USKIP advisory council member. And last but not least, Ted Witherall is a senior director of talent management at Mass General Brigham and chair of our LENS coaching council. So thank you all so much for agreeing to uh, participate in today's game. Uh, it's my pleasure to now turn it over to our host, AKA Alex Trebek, uh, Alia Ibrahim. Is that Alia Trebek? Is that- what It is, yeah. that's what she's going by today. <laughs> Hi everyone. Um, so, oops, let's see, there, there we go, all right. Uh, so welcome. Uh, I have the honor of hosting today's NCHL uh, Get to Know Us Jeopardy game. Um, I have a uh, big shoes to fill, so uh, forgive me for, uh, you know, any uh, uh, Alex Trebek uh, faux pas. Um, but so anyways, I will um, begin by, well, let's see. Oops, there we go. So First, let me explain that as in the traditional game of Jeopardy, oops, sorry, having some screen sharing issues there. There we go. Uh, as in the traditional game of Jeopardy, I will begin by introducing the contestants, or I will begin by introducing the categories, and then contestants will have about 10 seconds to answer the, um, the questions, and um, then they will, or I'm sorry, they will select the category and the uh, money, the, the number amount, and then they will have 10 seconds to answer. And if they get it correct, then they will be able to select the next category and amount. And if they get it wrong, then the next uh, contestant will have the uh, chance to answer or the chance to answer the statement. So we made the I know in, in uh, Jeopardy, the uh, answer is in the format of a question, um, but we've made this optional. So um, our three contestants, Barbara, Ted and Conan can feel free to just, um, you know, see the answer. Um, so, okay, we'll get started, and apparently uh, everyone sees the first one already, it's History of NCHL, um, and let's hope the screen cooperates now. All right, and next will be NCHL Acronyms, and our next category will be Program and Corporate Membership, then Initiatives and Research, uh, Signature Offerings, and finally, NCHL, uh, Future of NCHL. All right, so uh, we will begin with Barbara, who will be our first contestant to start us off by selecting our first category and amount. Okay, I'll start at the very beginning and I'll take history of NCHL for $100. <laughs> All right. This former health system CEO is credited with founding the National Center for Healthcare Leadership in 2001 and served as the organization's first chairperson. Ding, 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 ooh. ding, ding. Who, who, who? Go, Barbara, you go. Go, Barbara. <laughs> no, who's Gail Warden? <laughs> that is correct. correct. And uh, just so you all know, on Thursday, we will actually be hosting our Gail Warden celebration, Leadership Excellence Celebration Award event. Uh, and this year's recipient is Dr. Beverly Malone, the president and CEO of the National League for Nursing. So I hope you all are able to join us on Thursday at noon Eastern time for our Gail Warden event. Thank you, Leanne. All right. Uh, Barbara, you can select okay, our next category. Okay, I'll take the history of NCHL for $500 since we're batting a thousand here. <laughs> okay. Prior to its transition to NCHL, the U.S. Cooperative for International Patient Program, USGIP, was founded and operated under this organization, which today is part of Vizient. Ding, 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 ding. Oh. Um, All right, Ted. I'm very high tech. 
Um, <laughs> it is the University Health System Consortium. Yes. That is correct. Yay. <laughs> All right, so you're going to uh, start us off, you're going to go next. So uh, go ahead and select uh, the category and amount. I'm gonna take Barbara's cue, staying with history of NCHL, I'm gonna go with it for 400. All right. These two health systems have been continuous members of NCHL's leadership excellence network lens from the time of the program's inception in 2004 until today. Ding, ding. Who are Ooh, Northwell right, Health and Cleveland Clinic? Cool. Yeah, you got it. All right. All right, okay, go ahead. So let's stay in here with 300 under history of NCHL. NCHL is a nonprofit organization that is headquartered in this city. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I got this one. Ooh. All right. Is that Conan I heard? Yep, I think so. Hopefully. Can All you... right. Um, uh, there you go. Oops. Where is oops. Chicago? Oh, Sorry, oh, I, I revealed it. Answer. Oops, oops, I clicked. That's what I was going to say anyway. I have the. I knew you know the answer right. anyways. Whoops. All right, well, let's right off that category and let's go history of NCHL for 200. All right, guys. A key driving force behind NCHL's founding was this 1999 report from the Institute of Medicine highlighting the critical need for greater attention to leadership in patient safety. This time I won't reveal the answer. Ding, 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 ding. All right, go for it, Barbara. To err is human. Who would have known that? Music! Yes. All right. Woo. Oh. That was a good category for Barbara. Yeah. Not a music okay. person. All right, guys. I know you <laughs> stick with the history. Now you can feel free to switch it up. Um, so, uh, Barbara, since you got that correct, you want to select the next one? Okay. Program and corporate membership. Very important to us for, I always start at the beginning, $100. This, the total number of premier program offerings at NCHL. Ding, 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 ding. Three. Hey, what let's is, hear what is three? Oh, what is three? All right. Three and bonus. Uh, can you name which three they are? You skip lens and NCAP. Very nice. And we right. have to go to the next category of acronyms to understand what those stand for. Right? Exactly. I like that. All right. Like, like the way you're thinking. All right. Which, uh, which amount are you going to start with? Uh, I, again, I'm going to, I'm going to pull up Barbara. I'm going to go right to the bottom 500 for program corporates and memberships. All right. HBIC. Ding, ding, ding. We're in it. Barbara? Human Capital Investment Woo Conference. <laughs> Woo. You got it. All right. Next category. Uh, go ahead. You can select it, Barbara. Okay. Um, let's do acronyms for $500. Ooh, okay. Challenging it. All right. Bold. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I'm let's hear from you, Ted. <laughs> uh, best organizations in leadership development. Hello. Anybody want to try? I heard, I heard, well, oh, you want, I heard okay. in, not for. Oh, you're okay. right. So, you're right. Pretty I close the to the there. You're right. right. No credit for me. I'll add here that the bold award ceremony is taking place this Wednesday um, at 11 o'clock central time. It's about a half hour long award ceremony, and we are honoring 17 organizations this year for their best practices in leadership development. So we hope that you all add it to your schedule and join us. I like how we even have uh, some commercials in this. It's just like the real Jeopardy. Thank you, Melanie. And that's not all. No. <laughs> Chad, do you want to uh, select our next category? Um, sure. Yeah, I will go with uh, acronyms for four. 
All right. NAFCAS. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> oh, all right. The National Barbara. Administrative Fellowship <laughs> Centralized Application Service. And you are correct. Nice. So I'll give you guys our next commercial break. A little bit about NAFCAS. We actually just wrapped up um, our first cycle, and we had over 1,250, no, 1,250 students um, apply, and we had uh, about 148 positions on there. So um, a great turnout, and our cycle two is going to be going live um, next week on Monday, so hopefully a lot more um, sites will be recruiting as well as students applying for these um, fellowship roles. Fabulous. Thank you, Natasha. All right, Conan, you've been awfully quiet. Let's hear from you. Let's go ahead and select the category. I think it's my microphone doesn't pick up fast enough. That's got to be it. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to improvise. Next time we'll get a big old buzzer. <laughs> All right, why don't you start us off? Oh, uh, you want me to go again or do you want, uh, or? Uh, select, a, select a category and a, an amount. Let's stick with the NCHL acronyms for, uh, let's do 300. All right. Ooh, this one's a little bit challenging. T-map. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, ah. talent, talent, metrics, analytics, and planning. It's one of the um, one of the uh, uh, councils that is part of the Lens Network. Very good. You've been doing your homework. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ted, you're stealing our commercial thunder, but I love it. <laughs> uh, we'll talk about probably the other councils um, later as well, but it is one of our councils that specifically focuses on people analytics and organizations. Um, and we also have a labor insight community of practice as a part of our partnership with Burning Glass as well. Fabulous. Thank you, Melanie. Let's finish the category. All right. I like the way you think. Jam. Ding, 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 ding. All right, let's hear from you, yeah. Conan. Um, Graduate Education Care <laughs> Management Council. Did I get that right? Uh, no, nope, not. Yep. Oh, well, pretty close. close. <laughs> More or less. If, if we're gonna, if we're gonna go easy on you. So, All right. So. Uh, All right. I'll let's pick, um, hear it. Let's go with. Uh, let's go with the initiatives and research for two hundred. All right. The most requested NCHL document that served as a user-friendly guide to help practitioners set high-level development priorities for their leaders. <gasps> ding, ding, ding. Let's hear it from you, Barbara. There are so many documents, but what is the code of good practices? Ooh. No. Oh, oh I'm going to go with, oh, ding, 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 ding. I'm going to go. Let's hear from you, Conan. NCHL um, health leadership competency model. <laughs> there you go. Uh, you got uh, that. Uh -oh. All right. And uh, we keep going so to my commercial break. <laughs> I was going to say, we keep going to my commercial breaks, but I'll add that you can request the competency model at uh, nchl.org if anyone is interested. Great. Let's stay in that category, initiatives and research, and we'll do 100. All right. A cost sharing initiative allowing USKIP members to receive legal due diligence country reports regarding the delivery of cross-border telemedicine. Ding, 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 ding. All right. Let's hear it from you, Barbara. <laughs> The International Telemedicine and Remote Second Opinion Due Diligence Initiative. Very nice way to go for the steal. We can't do right. without it. <laughs> um, next, do you want to pick the next category? Initiatives and research for 300. Fellowship sites and graduate programs follow <laughs> this in order to collaboratively collaboratively advance the role, availability, and quality of fellowship and the fellowship process. And I, ding, 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 I saw, ding, ding. yes, yes. Um, <laughs> that, that one, um, thank you, Barbara, for the hint earlier, uh, the code. <laughs> okay. 
There you go. Got it. Didn't quite right. Well, Barbara had it earlier. I know you have commercials, but the um, cart before the horse sometimes, you know. The code of good practice is a really helpful thing that helps us as graduate programs, as fellowship sites, and um, the students especially, uh, in sort of setting behaviors for the ways that uh, the program students and the uh, fellowship sites kind of behave in the recruiting process. So it's it's a it's a really nice thing to have. Okay, let's stay with initiatives and research it for 400. All right, this NCHL program was designed to equip healthcare leaders with skills to become International Coach Federation certified, ICF certified. Ding, 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 mm -hmm. ding. That is the NCHL Coach Certification Program. And um, that gives us a chance to talk about the Coaching Council. Um, which is um, in the process of combining with what has been the Physician Leadership Council into a single Leadership Development Council going forward. But the coaching certification program is exactly what, what that clue just said. It's an opportunity to bring folks from throughout the uh, healthcare community to get certified to be able to deliver coaching. And a lot of us have, have, um, have used the program to develop a bunch of internal coaches. So Do just I get it right? for that, I'm going to do here for that, yes. And if, and if this was another game show, you'd get a million bucks too. Yes. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> Let's finish right. the category. All right, I like it. This is the first and only national study to measure the satisfaction of international patients receiving care at U.S. hospitals. Ding, 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 ding. Let's hear it from you, Barbara. Okay, this would be the USKIP mm -hmm. International Patient Experience Survey Initiative. Correct, which is very near and dear to me. It's very near and dear, uh, and it um, enables us to, you know, really think globally, especially in this time of pandemic, where it's so evident that um, developing collaborations um, worldwide in order to fight things like pandemics is is um, essential, and we all um, collaborate in patient care. Thank you, Barbara cheer for that too. Ooh. All right. Uh, do you want to carry us over that closes out that category? Um, carry us over to another category. We have three categories left that you can select from highlighted in yellow. Well, let's go to signature offerings now that we know a lot about the um, programs. 100. All right. All right, organizations that have, have exemplary approaches to leadership development are eligible for this high profile recognition awarded every two years since 2014. Ding, 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 ding. Ooh, oh, I think got it. All right, and I All only right. got it because of your previous uh, thing. This is gonna be the best organizations for leadership development award. <laughs> I like it, I That's like it, you guys are pros. I like how you guys are helping me with these answers. <laughs> Um, let's we, stay we in that category, track. signature offerings, and let's hit 300. Okay, I like it. All right. These are online international business development events for U.S. hospitals. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say it is. <laughs> You're going to have the fun of it. <laughs> you skip Teletrex? What are you skip Teletrex? Correct. You got it. Thank you very much. Uh, Jarrett, do you want to highlight a little bit about the USKIP Teletrack? Sure. Um, so some of you um, joining may have um, participated in the past um, on some of our uh, online events that used to be in person, but now we've moved our business development initiatives for our hospitals to an online format whereby uh, we focus on a country. Um, we we'll actually have one coming up uh, in December for China. Uh, where we'll have um, uh, different Chinese uh, uh, collaborators, potential partners, um, hospitals, um, you know, uh, private companies uh, come and interface and have one-on-one um, -on -one, uh, focused business development sessions and, and um, connections with USKIP members that participate in the program. Thank you. All right, uh, Ted, uh, carry us on. Uh, I will say signature offerings for 500. All right. NCHL offers these two healthcare leadership awards to individuals for exemplary healthcare leadership. 
Ding, ding, ding. All right, Barbara. Okay. Um, the reason we're here for the Gail Warden Leadership and Excellence Award, and also the USKIP International Leadership Award. Excellent. Beryl, thank you very much. Uh, and last year's uh, USKIP Leadership Awardees were Dr. Francis Robichek from Atrium Health and uh, Dr. Mark Klein from Texas Children's Hospital. All right. So, uh, Barbara, do you want to uh, select the next? Let's next? go signature offerings for 400. All right. These are business intelligence work products that provide in-depth analysis of countries. Ding, ding. All right, let's hear from you, you again. You skip, well, countries is the, is the key word. You skip market reports. Excellent. All right, so uh, more than the halfway mark here. Next category. How about we close Finish this out for 200? Finish it yeah. off. All right, this brings 70 plus fellowship sites and 1200 plus graduate students together and helps build a healthcare talent pipeline annually. Ding, 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 ding. All right, Conan, take it away. Um, so that's either NCAF uh, or NASCAS. Um, so it's, it's probably the actual uh, uh, application process or the centralized application process. So I'm going to say, what is NASCAS? And you are such a pro. Got it. Okay. Um, all let's, right. Um, let's skip over back to the program for corporate membership, program and corporate membership. Let's go, let's go big, 500. Ooh, all right, going big. These are the different levels of corporate membership available in 2021. Ding, 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 ding. You got it, Barbara. All right, Barbara. Okay. Leading, sustaining, and contributing. You got it. And I just want to mention that we actually just recently redesigned our corporate membership program. And so I would encourage you all to check out our website and learn about the, the new benefits and offerings for our corporate members. And uh, we also have information in our virtual, the MCHL virtual booth. Thank you, Leanne. All right, who's gonna carry us on? Let's do 400. 400, okay. This NCHL program is comprised of leading healthcare organizations who recognize that their leadership development and talent management programs are integral to their strategic goals. Ding, 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 ding. All right, let's hear from you. That is LENS. What are the leadership excellence? Incorrect, you got it. <laughs> okay. Let's do three. 300. This NCHL program is comprised of leading U.S. academic medical system, systems, hospitals, and healthcare systems with international patient programs. Ding, 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 ding. ding. Oh. Go ahead, Barbara. The U.S. Cooperatives for International Patient Programs. Thank you, Barbara. You um, got that. I'll, I'll, oh, Jared. Uh, I'll do my, my commercial here. <laughs> Yeah. Um, uh, so um, we've been talking uh, a little bit about um, USKIP and um, hospitals and health systems that focus on international business. So for those of you who may not be as familiar um, kind of with what international business looks like for U.S. hospitals, this can take the form of uh, international patients coming to the U.S. So all USKIP members have that in common. Uh, they uh, programs focused on treating international patients traveling for care. Um, but many of the, the hospitals also focus on um, uh, other healthcare services exports. So um, they um, engage in collaborative consulting relationships or education and training programs with partners around the world. Um, they provide international telemedicine uh, services to hospitals and, and patients abroad. Um, and they may even go as far as to build, manage, or directly own healthcare facilities uh, in other countries. And um, we at USKIP help uh, hospitals that are involved in this kind of business learn from each other, develop best practices, um, find new business with our business development initiative, um, and, and uh, create 
um, uh, best practices within the space. And um, uh, you know, we have a, a number of educational offerings, our annual meeting, uh, similar to HCIC and uh, ongoing webinars and, and many other things. So we encourage you to um, go check out the, the USKIP website, uskip.net um, and uh, learn more about um, uh, what USKIP does. Thank you so much, Jarrett. Um, appreciate all of the fabulous work we use highlighted. All right, whoops. So we're gonna close out this category for 200. And this program was created in 2014 in order to help standardize the administrative fellowship process. Ding, 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 ding. All right, Chad. What is NCAP or the National Council on Administrative Fellowships? Very good. I was expecting Conan to uh, chime in for this one. Yeah, he was too yeah, slow. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So fun fact about NCAF, um, we are in our sixth year right now, and we have about 117 total program members, which is great. And this year, especially with the pandemic, our members really stepped up because the number of fellowships available has drastically gone down. I want to say about like 62% across the country. Um, but with our NCAF members, it only went down about 15%. And all of our sites were more than committed to developing young leaders and, um, you know, their commitment to helping build a diverse pipeline. Thank you. Very uh, interesting work that you're doing there. Glad you're helping keep it alive. Um, all right, uh, Ted, do you want to uh, select the next amount? We only have future of NCHL left, so you save the best for last. Let's start down at the bottom, 500. All right, go big. Ooh, okay. <laughs> These two organizations are expected to co-host USKIP's annual meeting in 2021. Ding, 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 ding. Let's hear from you, the Barbara. Very, the, the generosity of Children's Hospitals of Philadelphia and Penn Medicine. Very good. Looking forward to that. Who knows next yeah. year if it'll be virtual or not. We'll Barbara see. always gets the 500s. We're, That's why she's well, No, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for the daily double here. So I'm gonna go back to the 100 for future of NCHL. <laughs> so sorry to disappoint, this is an abbreviated Jeopardy with no daily double, but you will have a final Jeopardy. So re be prepared. That one's a stumper. It's going to get you okay. once you did your homework. All right. NCHL will celebrate this milestone next year. Ding, 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 ding. All right, Conan. What is the 20th anniversary? Very good. It's been 20 years. Yeah, that's amazing. All right, let's go with the uh, future of NHA, uh, NCHL for 300. All right, this is a number of China-focused virtual business development events, Teletrex, that USKIP will conduct in 2021. Ding, ding, ding. All right, Barbara. Three, three. Very good. Got it. Doing your homework. All right. Can tell you. <laughs> Let's go 200. Next one, we're down, down to the final two. All right. This new program will launch in 2021 with the goal of fostering the development of healthcare leadership by matching individuals together for peer mentorship. Ooh, mouthful. Ding, 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 ding. All right, Ted, let's hear it. It is the NCHL mentorship program. I can Correct. tell that it's a mentor in the question. Yeah, that one, a uh, little get a giveaway there. <laughs> All right, here's the last one. This is the year that the next Bold Awards will be hosted. Ding, ding, ding. All right, let's hear it, Barbara. And, hope, and hopefully we can all actually physically be there, 2022. Correct, because Bold is given every other year. Correct, Melanie? Yep, that's correct. All right, thank you. So this leaves us with our final Jeopardy, okay. And here we go. So fill in the words missing in this statement, which will be adopted as a new mission statement for the future direction of NCHL. Dedicated mm -hmm. to advancing blank and blank by building diverse, inclusive, and collaborative relationships 
in the U.S. and abroad. And you'll have 30 seconds for this. I think uh, time is just about up there. So do we want to hear it from? Uh, let's start uh, with Conan I this I'm the lowest amount. I wagered all my money on it. And um, all I, right. I got it though. I, got, I put uh, leadership and mentorship. So I'm probably, uh, I lost all my money. <laughs> okay. Sorry, that's not it. All right. Uh, Tad, let's hear it from you first. We're going to wait to reveal it till we hear what you say. Um, fortunately, I wa wagered nothing. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, I said uh, advancing healthcare and leadership. Okay. Good guess. Yeah. All right. And Barbara? Oh, man. Final, I, didn't, uh, <laughs> I didn't study enough. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nope. Leadership. It's it's. All right. You want a lifeline? Healthcare. So, you want a so lifeline? We... Yeah. All right. Here we go. So, uh, the new NCHL mission statement is going to be dedicated to advancing healthcare leadership and organizational excellence by building diverse, inclusive, and collaborative relationships in the U.S. and abroad. So very good attempt, Ted and Conan. I think you're at it even, even. And uh, Barbara, I hope you didn't wager all your money because I think uh, the house rules in this case. <laughs> so thank you very much for joining us. Um, and I will pass it back over to Leanne. Um, and that's the end of our Jeopardy game. So thanks for getting started. I might have been last place, um, but I, I learned the most. So I, I, it, was a, it was a rewarding experience for me. Thanks. You're a winner in my book, Conan. Thank you. <laughs> You're all winners. And as Ted mentioned, everyone gets a trophy. <laughs> uh, and just to, to um, before we jump off the new mission statement, I did want to let you know that our board of directors recently approved the new mission statement, and they also approved a new value statement. And those are listed uh, in our electronic program that you'll find on the virtual platform. So we are excited to have the new mission and value statement that will guide our future path forward for NCHL in the years to come. So thank you all so much for joining us. Thank you, Ted, Barbara, and Conan. Uh, you all were great players and uh, really appreciate um, your willingness to do this for us. I hope you all had some fun and learned a little bit about NCHL. Uh, as I mentioned a little bit ago, that you can find uh, materials about our LENS program, our USKIP program, and NCAP, as well as the corporate membership by visiting our NCHL virtual booth, or you can always visit our website at nchl.org. And if you have time now, uh, uh, we have about 20 minutes, but at 3.30 Eastern time, I encourage you all to return to the virtual platform and visit the virtual booths. Uh, remember, you can start a conversation with your fellow attendees, uh, schedule a one-on-one -on -one meeting, and then at four o'clock Eastern time, please be sure to come back and join us for our networking reception and cocktail class. Uh, I know it's early for some of you on the West Coast, but um, you can always have a mocktail uh, in your hand. We, we won't judge. If, we won't know, actually, if it's a mocktail or a cocktail, but Hopefully you can join us for the networking reception. It's going to be fun. We're, we have um, a cocktail demonstration for our um, bold fashioned cocktail, as well as our, uh, Melanie, what's it? The idea, what's the, the idea soda? The idea soda. Thank you. So we'll have a little demonstration on how to make those two drinks. And then we're going to break into small group discussions and do a little speed networking. So really encourage you to join us um, in about an hour. And we look forward to that event. And I also look forward to all of you joining us again tomorrow 
um, at 12 Eastern time when we kick it off with our opening session and our keynote, um, keynote session and then followed by a great uh, panel. So with that, thank you all again for being here and appreciate your time. And we'll look forward to seeing you here in uh, about 50 minutes. Bye, Bye everyone. Everyone. <laughs> thank you.